out so we have some natural lighting today and I thought I would talk about uh, Noriko's Jolie I believe mine is in creamy toffee um, and it is rooted I don't know if you can see that also it's got quite a bump of permatease back here um, in any event I'm wearing it today with a headband which I'm gonna put back on later to add a bit of um, realism to it but otherwise it's very realistic looking style um, Jolie is a bob as you can see um, you won't be able to see the back I don't imagine but uh, it's a bit shorter in the back so it's kind of angled and it comes down to the chin here uh, the fringe here is 5.5 inches um, so you could certainly have it cut shorter to look a bit like the Cameron wig by Noriko, I think. I think Cameron is in a very similar style. Um, I don't know if Cameron is a double monofilament, but um, believe it or not, with all this thick hair, um, Jolie is a double monofilament. monofilament. I can talk. Um, the crown is 5.5 inches. So this is 5.5 inches. The crown is 5.5 inches. Um, the sides are 4 inches. I believe and the nape is four inches the nape is quite short um, the wig I hear weighs 3.2 ounces um, I have not weighed it but I'm just going off of wig stats from I can't remember I might have been simply wigs uh, simply wigs I can't remember if they're a US or UK site I'm a little brain foggy lately um, so yes in any event um, the retail for Jolie, which is, it really is a lovely wig, it's very, very realistic looking and I have gotten a lot of compliments on this one. Um, you know, it practically looks like a Permatease wig, even though it's not, even though underneath all this hair there is, you probably can't see it, but there is the double monofilament. In any case, um, if you wanted to save some money, you could probably buy the May wig, to be quite honest, because um, they're quite similar except this one's shorter in the back, but has shorter layers in the back, but in any event, I get a lot of compliments on this, saying that's very realistic, um, and it is. Uh, um, if you wanted to sort of pick your part and pluck it a bit, um, you could do that. You could cut some sort of baby hairs into the front, um, because otherwise it has a very wiggy edge, so if it blows back, you could probably cut some smaller hairs and kind of rub them and make it look a bit more realistic. You could probably kind of get these bangs to curl over or sort of train them to do something like that. Um, I like accessories personally because I don't like to cut mine. Um, because if I don't, if I'm not sure if I'm absolutely in love with it, then I may just um, sell it off. So this one I have gotten quite a few wears from. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, I do like the Permatease bump because you can get some like height from it and I would never have that with my bio hair. <laughs> not even ever, not in my wildest dreams. Um, but it is quite a bump. And the thing is, I don't have very much hair underneath here. Um, my hair is shaved quite short along the sides and then the hair that I have on top at the moment is getting very thin in the front and I'm getting a bald spot here. Um, I'll probably end up shaving it off. So I don't have a lot of hair underneath here or a lot of head. I have quite a petite head. Um, so if you have a very petite head, I would not necessarily say that to run out and get this particular one. Um, I'm not really sure if Noriko makes this in a petite cap size. I have no idea. Um, it does have the, what's the word I'm looking for, the adjustable straps that are kind of similar to bra adjustable straps. So when you hear bra adjusters, really that means they have kind of, well, I don't have a proper bra on, <laughs> I was worth bra on, but um, they have those sort of sliding adjusters so you can give more or less slack as opposed to uh, wigs like Free Trust Equal or like Janet Collection or some other um, sort of, some other brands that are slightly less expensive that have the loop and hook adjusters in the back. Um, the problem I have with the, the hook and loop adjusters is that 
my hook always ends up coming out and because I have a petite head there's not much petite about me but I do have a petite head so um, I always worry about stability but I'm also having a problem with this one because I have this as tight as I can possibly get it I think and I really feel like it's moving around I feel like it slides back um, it does have in the front here at the front of the monofilament it's not a lace front but it has uh, the poly tape so you could tape or glue this down okay so I ran out of memory there for a moment but just to wrap this up um, it's not a lace front um, if you don't have a lot of hair it might be a bit big or bulky for you um, I personally like it but I am very much looking forward to my uh, silicone wig grip that I have coming in the mail, which I purchased from, is it Simply Wigs in the UK? When I have it and have the details, I will pop it in the description and I will pop um, whoever has this wig in the UK in this color in the least cost. <laughs> so I'm always cost conscious. That's why I buy wigs usually at a discount or on clearance or open box and then frequently turn them around. So in any case, I'm done for today on Jolie, but we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.